heard it, I was like a child, like, what? Like, oh my God. There's that certain honor and privilege, being able to represent your country and kind of fight for your country in your country brings. It's, it's a feeling that I think not a lot of athletes get to experience. My name is Jasmine Alcaldi. I'm a national swimmer and I'm a two-time Olympian as well as a bronze medalist in the Sea Games. It really means a lot to me as a Filipino. Have that honor wearing the flag on my cap and swimming for the Philippines here. I never really thought I would do that. I started competing when I was five, started winning, and as a competitive little child, it was, I had a lot of fun doing it. I was selected to be part of a sports school program. I transferred to study in Laguna. It was basically a, you know, a dormitory style um, setup where we lived there, we trained there. I decided to do it at 12 years old. I decided to move out of our house and um, take swimming seriously because I actually really wanted to see how far I could take it with my swimming. And I got a scholarship to swim for Hawaii. So I left the Philippines and I moved to Hawaii and trained there for five years. Once that five years was up, it was the 2016 Olympics. For me, I thought that that was the last um, race of my career. But there was this feeling inside of me, um, I'm not done with swimming yet. So after that, I contacted Archie because at that time he was the national coach. He was the one I was closest with in the Philippines because we would always travel with him. Um, in the five years I was in Hawaii, I rarely went back home, but when we would do the SEA Games or the World Championships, he was almost always there. I met Jasmine when she was really young, I think 12 years old. We were to a competition in Indonesia. She was uh, you know, swimming with the Philippine team. 2016, I think, she came back and we talked about specifically actually training for the SEA Games this year. So I told him my dilemma. I was like, what do you think I should do? I really think I still want to swim, you know, just really for the SEA Games in Manila. I told him how important that is for me to be able to swim for my country, in my country, and he really understood. It was a conversation that I was so thankful to have. I knew that maybe the level or the standard is different from what I was used to. I've had that experience in that higher level environment, but going back, I told him, I think I could prepare myself and handle it, just work with him together to figure out the best solution for me. When I got to train Jasmine more often, she was actually done with college and she was in some way a professional athlete, really full-time. So I've never seen someone really just dedicate her whole day, her whole life uh, into performing well. We're talking about waking up early, the food she eats, of course training is there. Even the, the, the schedule of her vacations and all those stuff, it's just all around swimming well and that performing well. And I think that's what it takes to, you know, to really actually succeed. I would love to see that more in uh, Filipino athletes. It's very unusual in the Philippines to have a professional swimmer. So it's just a matter of figuring out how we could work together so I could perform well. And lately that involves a lot of traveling. Last year I didn't leave um, to travel abroad. I tried to stay here and figure out, you know, because as much as possible, I want to train here and really say that a Filipino swimmer can perform well, can win with what we have, but that's hard to do. You know, I tried to do it. I tried last year, especially um, for the Asian Games. I didn't train abroad. 
I said, you know, I'm comfortable with my training here. Let's let's try to see what we can do. Um, I did okay. I made finals for the first time ever in two events, but I knew I could do better. And that's that's the thing that was missing. It's a competitive sport. You got to have someone competing against you day in and day out. So after that, we, we decided that for this year, I need to constantly try to leave the country sometimes for a, a short amount of time and train with people better than me, faster than me. So it will push me and then come back here and fine tune in and then leave again. So that's what we started to do this year.